Well, the um, nuclear power, I think it's, it's unfortunate. That, uh, you know, the <clears throat> nuclear industry was born in a bomb rather than a uh, well, but I, I do think that nuclear power is, is, is the answer, at least part of the answer, <coughs> to uh, you know, uh, cutting back our, our CO2 emissions. It's also on a on a you know, on a lifetime basis. It's as clean as wind and solar. So um, I had the opportunity because I was a CIO distinguished lecturer, and uh, my title of my talk was "The Role of Uranium and Nuclear Power in Combating Global Climate Change," and I gave that talk thirty or forty times. Mm -hmm. So it's a um, and in some places I had a lot of opposition, and other places just sort of odd, because I tried to make the case. So, uh, and I've been um, in an advocacy position like that, well, for decades now. Mm -hmm. So I don't give that talk much anymore. But every now and then, if somebody wants it, so I pull it up and do it again. So. You find that public attitudes have changed over time? Public attitudes, um, What most people know about nuclear power is the accidents. <clears throat> so, you know, what should all, you know, about Fukushima. But, you know, I think that the, uh, the fact that you have, uh, those, are, those are both very bad accidents. Neither of them were caused by the uh, technology. They were caused by essentially incompetent or stupid people. So, and um, it's the same argument for, uh, you know, automobiles, you know, Stop using cars because they kill people. No, you try to make them as safe as possible. So it's the same argument for nuclear power. Part of the nuclear, part of the rep is part of the opposition to nuclear, not just nuclear power, but the whole nuclear industry, is not rational. It is. Uh, it's not based on fact. It's uh, some of it's uh, emotional. Some of it's religious, <coughs> which are you know much argument there. I guess human factors and safety culture, these are all big issues in, in this sort of industry. Yeah, the, um, given the number of reactors there are on the planet and the number of hours they've been running, the uh, safety performance is pretty good. I mean, uh, Chernobyl was caused by a batch of uh, Soviet Army people who went in and shut down the computer and tried to run the plant outside the design um, parameters and failed. So, uh, and, uh, Fukushima, essentially, the earthquake shook the plant, and the plant shut down exactly the way they're supposed to in an earthquake. There was a tsunami that took them out, and uh, the tsunami caused, shut, took out their uh, backup power, and that's what caused most of the real damage. If there hadn't been a tsunami, they would have been shut down and restarted the way they go.